this coconut shrimp pasta recipe will blow your mind hi faves let's cook so today we're going to be making this beautiful dish and everyone is going to love it to my pot of boiling water i'm going to add some seasoning and some salt yes and then i'm going to also add my pasta and leave that to boil you want to do that for your pasta trust me try it it really changes the game of your pasta now we want to proceed to chop some onions you can use white onions you can use red onions if that is what you have but the trick here is that you want to chop the onions in such a way that it is finely chopped what i mean is you don't want to have like big big chunks of onions in your food so make sure that it looks something like this and once you get something like this pack this and then set aside now we want to season our shrimp you're going to add some white pepper, some ginger powder, some chili pepper, some paprika, and some chicken seasoning or shrimp seasoning, crayfish seasoning, whatever, whichever one you have. Transfer this to your cleaned shrimp and then you're going to mix it together. Is this called shrimp or prawns? I usually mistake one for the other, but I know that the smaller ones are called shrimp, yes. And then the bigger ones are called prawns so now that we've marinated our prawns we're going to set it aside now this is the prawn not the shrimp that one is the shrimp okay so you're going to cut the side of your prawn open and then you're going to take away all the dirt that might be in it you want to take away all that uh, disgust <laughs> away from your prawns and then once you get something that is as clean as this you know that you are good to go now for the marinade of this prawn you're going to be using some butter some lemon juice some chili pepper or chili powder no this is cayenne pepper okay you're also going to be using some paprika you're going to be using some ginger powder you're going to be using some white pepper some seasoning and some fresh thyme now the goal is to mix all of this together to combine into one you want to press down that butter you can use melted butter if that is what you have it even makes the work easier and faster so you want to mix all of this together until it forms a paste that looks something like this aha now when you have something like this you know that you are good to go this is the kind of dish that you will go to restaurants and they will charge you 20k per plate for but you can always make it at the comfort of your home at a very very much affordable rate and you will get more value like you can serve like four servings five servings with this dish so now i'm seasoning my prawns with some rock salt and then once i have seasoned it i would go ahead and add my butter marinade to that i'll just mix that butter all over it let that butter rub all over that prawn so that it can be good so as i was saying jerry this is the kind of dish that you go to all these restaurants and they will charge you 20k per plate for when you can make this at home by yourself for way much lesser and you get more value you can feed more people and everyone is going to be happy and excited so i'm going to place place this on my panini grill you can use a pot or a pan if that is what you have okay so just allow this to toast for a while let it toast let it roast let it just you know have a good time on that place and once it starts to look something like this you know that it is well done now you're gonna just take this out and we're going to proceed to the next thing on our agenda typically for this recipe people use cooking cream but i'm using coconut milk coconut cream which is what i have at home and instead of buying fifteen thousand naira cooking cream why don't you just use coconut cream which will basically serve the same purpose so this is my coconut i have cut it into smaller sizes i'm going to be juicing this in my butchy mix juicer i totally recommend this juicer for everyone everybody that likes cooking everyone that enjoys cooking this juicer would serve you because come on my juicer can juice coconuts that's a big flex you should totally get yourself the butchy mix juicer you will not regret it it is very durable very strong and very capable now in a pan like this i'm going to add some oil i'm also going to be adding that seasoned 
shrimp yeah this is shrimp not prawns okay we're gonna mix all of this together and then we're going to just like chicken breast shrimp does not take time to cook within five minutes your shrimp is ready in fact five minutes ago you might have overcooked it just mix everything together just toss it around like this and once it is well done just take it out of that pan and then we're going to transfer some butter butter not margarine oh my nigerian people butter into this okay we're going to let this melt and then we're going to add that our uh, chopped onions that we chopped in the first place we're going to mix it together in there like so mix everything let it form a good relationship don't worry about it burning i have a solution for that okay so now you're going to grate a freshly a fresh garlic into that pan you want to grate fresh garlic into your pan and then continue to mix once you cook this recipe like this everyone is going to call you a pro chef add some tomato paste to this just a little bit not so much something to just give it color and vibrancy because we're not about to do that white creamy pasta or something we want it to have a little bit of color yeah okay so just make sure you fry your tomato paste very well make sure that tomato paste is well fried and then you're going to add some chili pepper to this add your chili pepper and mix all of that to combine chili pepper is for heat okay don't skip the chili pepper then you're going to take some of your pasta water and then you're going to transfer this to that pan this is how everything is going to come together as one to form a good relationship in uh here -huh. everything is going to come together like so like this in uh here -huh. once you get something that looks like this you're going to add your seasoning and salt at this point you add a little bit of lemon juice to that and then you will mix this and continue to combine okay one of the things that i well one of the things i love doing when i'm cooking is mixing okay it just makes me really really happy so yeah mix 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 and then you're gonna transfer our uh, coconut cream or milk to this pan and then we're going to add some parmesan cheese to this it's, it has been grated make sure you had a lot so that it would be able to like thicken your sauce and then your sauce will be able to hold Mix all of this to combine. Let it dissolve in that goodness. You know what I mean? Let it form a good relationship like this. And once that has happened, transfer your pasta into that pot and then mix everything together. You want to make sure that your pasta is well coated every angle every area you know okay so if you are new to this channel please 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 subscribe to my channel like this video share it to your friends and your family they're not going to regret it and this dish is so so delightful and so tasty you are going to love it you're going to like fall in love with it all right so after you've mixed everything to combine like this add your seasoned shrimp and then continue to mix and mix and mix until that shrimp is well immersed such that if anyone takes a bite of your pasta that shrimp is going to follow that kind of thing you know what i mean so yeah just keep mixing and mixing and mixing so after mix 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 this is my pasta i have already served it i'll be enjoying this I added some more parmesan cheese to this to give it that extra, you know, deliciousness. And our butterfly prawns. And this is our result. This is cool, yeah? I know, right? <laughs> you can make all this five-star dish by yourself at home. Okay? So just pair with some wine and then enjoy your life. Thank you so much for watching this video, faves. I'll see you in my next video. You should definitely try this recipe because it is good, good. It is good because I say so. All right. Bye.